Hi, I'm Gemma Craven. And I'm Jeffrey Cologne. And welcome to the Wednesday Word on Social. And today we're going to be talking about Tumblr. Um, this week, Tumblr CEO David Karp announced that the platform now has 141 million users and that they are going to be making two awareness spots um, open to brands uh, for advertising. Um, with over 600 posts a second posted on Tumblr, we at the Wednesday Word thought it was high time we took a look at one of the quiet champions of, of social media. So Jeffrey, I know you're a big Tumblr user. Um, tell me some more about how you use it and how long you've been using it. I am a, a big Tumblr user. Uh, I've been on the platform uh, since 2007 when it launched as an early adopter. Uh, got on basically just to have a place to share photos with uh, various people around the world. And from there, I took on sort of a whole new angle where I launched uh, my Futurist Lab uh, Tumblr, which basically I blog about innovation and tech and, and futures studies and uh, reblog a lot of uh, other content that exists from Tumblr users uh, about these subject areas. So uh, is there a specific demographic on the platform? For example, you know, Pinterest in North America is primarily used by the female audiences. Is, is it a similar, um, similar setup on Tumblr? It's pretty even keeled. Um, the, the, there are a variety of uh, males and females that use the platform. Um, there's a lot of creative people that use it. There's a lot of people who use it for business purposes. I, I would say it's, um, it's much more diverse in its uh, demographic in terms of, of who uses the platform. Um, I think uh, a lot of people have adopted it because it's a great way to launch a blog without using um, um, blog platforms such as WordPress. So, um, you know, if, it, if it's a personal blogging platform, why would a brand invest any time on Tumblr? Well, Tumblr goes a little bit deeper. Um, it, it has a community. It's actually interconnected. So unlike a blog where you would set that, uh, that uh, up and you would have a URL that you would then need to point to, uh, once you have a Tumblr log, you are then able to follow other Tumblr logs that exist within the community and they are able to follow you. Uh, you can reblog their content. They can reblog yours. You can have two-way conversations. Uh, it's also a great platform in the sense that you can post a variety of things. So you can post video, audio, um, links, uh, quotes, text. Um, it's really uh, very um, uh, well-rounded in terms of, of, of its uh, user experience and user functionality. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's for me is the, is the main standout is that at its core, this really is a, a creative community, more so than we see across any of the other platforms. Um, so, you know, in terms of brands actually on Tumblr, are there any out there that you see that are doing it well? Calvin Klein, for example, launched their Tumblr this week. Any others on your radar? Yeah, I mean, most of the major publishers are there. The New York Times is there, Newsweek, uh, Time. Uh, they obviously make sense for them. It's a great uh, platform to publish a variety of different content. Uh, MTV has been there for about a year. Um, and the thing that I like about what they do is they don't use it as a promotional platform for tune into this show tonight. They really use it as, as, as an archive machine where they can post content from their 30 year history. Um, I also enjoy um, what uh, Coca-Cola has done, they launched uh, a Tumblr log, which is all about happiness. And again, all the imaging is based around uh, things that make people happy. It's not necessarily product placement, and it's definitely uh, uh, doesn't tie into sort of the, the normal website experience that a lot of brands have. Right. So um, my next question, uh, when YouTube really took off, we saw a huge explosion in uh, these YouTube celebrities. Uh, is that something that we're seeing in a similar way on Tumblr? I, I think so. I mean, you get this in, in any social community. You have power users um, that uh, have a lot of followers. Uh, one follower to note, I mean, his name is Anthony DeRosa. He goes by the name Soup Soup on Tumblr. He was the first person I followed in 2007. Uh, he has probably the most followers, and he is now the uh, the social media manager for Reuters. So I, I th he actually got his position by being on Tumblr. So I think 
Uh, there are other power users that we may see rise up in the ranks of the fashion world, the publishing world, uh, creative industries, just because it is such a powerful platform. Yeah, I mean, a great uh, suggestion there as a, an aspirational audience, uh, really to use Tumblr to demonstrate um, thought leadership knowledge in a specific area. And as we see there, Anthony was hired on the back of his, his Tumblr. So, so let's finish off, Jeffrey, with some best practices for users and brands on Tumblr. Um, I mean, my, my first would be that it's fully customizable. So you can create an experience as a brand that is very much in sync with your overall brand experience on other social platforms and on the web. Um, yet enabling you know this creativity through the various different functions of of Tumblr. Any other best practices for I mean, you? Yeah, sure. I mean, the other one that I enjoy is you can you can time when you post, so you can actually curate a, num uh, a, a large amount of content. But instead of pushing it out manually all at once, you can time it so that you can you can basically say, I'm going to post this at 9 a.m. I'm going to post this at 12 noon. I'm going to post this at 2 p.m. And then that way, there's a, there's literally a stream of content for those who are following your 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 tumble log uh that they can actually see what uh, what you're posting and if they if they like it they can interact with it or reblog it themselves um the other thing for brands that really want to get into it um is um you can sync google analytics with uh your tumble log uh which is great for insights teams just to follow what uh you know the performance of of your tumblr and see how it's doing. So it's not like you're using another Insights dashboard. You can you can use something that uh, the industry is an industry standard. Great. Well, thanks, Jeffrey. Uh, this has been the Wednesday Word. We'll see you next week.